Hello, welcome my dear children to another wonderful session of chemistry made simple for neat. This is Dr. Radha Subramaniam. Today we are going to learn uh, some more questions from previous year NEET uh, 2021. Uh, so if you remember we are solving few questions at a time and already I have uploaded a few questions and today we will be uh, continuing with the 2021 NEET uh, question papers and we are solving the chemistry session ok. So, uh, only a couple of weeks away for your NEET 2022 exams. I hope you are all preparing well for the exam uh, this time and do not lose hope or confidence. So, if you really prepare well and uh, face the exam confidently then you will be able to surely get high score for the exam. So, ok let us start with the first question for today. Now the question is among the following alkaline earth metal, metal halides then one which is covalent and soluble in organic solvent is. So, uh, in the choice uh, you have 4 alkaline earth metal halides. So, and they are asking which is covalent and soluble in organic solvents. So, the choice options are strontium chloride magnesium chloride, beryllium chloride and calcium chloride, strontium chloride, magnesium chloride, beryllium chloride and calcium chloride. So, what is the correct answer for this question? It is answer option 3 that is beryllium chloride. You see except for beryllium chloride all the other given that is strontium chloride, magnesium chloride, calcium chloride all these alkaline earth metals are ionic in nature. You know what is meant by ionic nature? That is the bond is formed either by uh, you know uh, giving uh, it is formed by giving uh, donating electrons and uh, or accepting and forming ions ok. It is an ionic uh, type of bond. Uh, so, these other three uh, metals are ionic in nature and uh, because beryllium is a small uh, size uh, because of the small size of beryllium. Uh, beryllium chloride is uh, covalent and it is soluble in organic solvent. See from such small uh, points which is given in the concepts from the lesson you can get such questions ok. When you read the lesson alone you will not know what type of questions are going to come from this. So, only if you practice such questions you know based upon the property of beryllium that it is small and covalent. So, that is how they are asking the whether it is uh, soluble in organic solvents because most of the children will think that you know strontium, magnesium, calcium along with the beryllium it is also uh, ionic in nature. Uh, so, it is not soluble in organic solvents just to make you confused only these questions are asked for the exam ok. Now, moving on to the next question the correct uh, structure of 2, 6 dimethyl deck 4 E N E is 2, 4, 6 dimethyl D E C deck 4 E N E. So, the options are C option number 1. See this line indicates the double bond ok. Here double bond is here then here here. So, all the 4 cases it is double bond. So, E and E it should be an alkene ok. Now, position of uh, you know where the alkyl groups are attached are 2 and 6 dimethyl. So, only if you number uh, the correct position you can able to identify the correct option. So, we will try numbering uh, correct option is answer 4. So, we will try to number so starting from here 1 here this position 2 3 then 4 5 6 7 8 9 10. So, 2 6 position 2 here and then here these two are the positions. See uh, 3 and 4 are same, but the position of the double bond is different. Ok, when you write the you know long structure you will know that that we will do in some other session. So, option 4 is the correct answer clear ok now moving on to the next question uh, that is the correct option 4 number of body centered unit in all 14 types of Bravais lattice unit cells is what. So, what is the question correct option for the number of body centered unit cells in all 14 types of Bravais lattice unit cell. 
options given are 5, 2, 3 and 7. So, the correct option is 3. See in all the 14 type of uh, types of Dravet's lattice, in body centered uh, unit cell is present in cubic, uh, then tetragonal, then orthorhombic crystal systems. So, body centered is possible, uh, that possible variation can be present in 3 crystal systems. Okay. Hope this is clear to you. So, you know the most of the questions are really easy. Only thing is that you should be well aware and you should have a thorough knowledge with the concepts. Only then you will be able to look at the question and based upon the concept you can uh, choose the correct option for any question. Right now the next and uh, the fourth question for today is the right option for the statement Tyndall effect is exhibited by that is uh, option is glucose solution, starch solution, urea solution, NaCl solution. So, you know what is meant by Tyndall effect uh, already we have learnt in that theory part and uh, you can go back to the unit and uh, go through it again. So, mostly Tyndall effect is exhibited by uh, not mostly uh, it is only shown by colloidal solutions. Okay. So, in the given options uh, glucose then urea and NaCl solution and these are all true solutions. Okay, so, true solutions uh, they do not show Tyndall effect, only starch solution is a colloidal solution. So, only one option starch solution alone is a colloidal solution and as you know only colloidal solution can uh, show Tyndall effect. Therefore, starch solution can show Tyndall effect. So, uh, these four questions for today which we discussed, you know these part and all the properties and uh, chemical properties everything uh, with uh, you know these uh, inorganic chemistry you should be thorough with your textbook concepts and uh, mostly just only similar line to line I have uh, taken from the lesson and uh, uh, given you a presentation uh, in many videos for uh, most of the lessons and uh, which you can go through those videos for a quick revision and then you try these uh, MCQs, uh, only then you will be able to see how much you know or how much well you are equipped or how well you have done your revisions. So, those uh, portions which you are not very thorough, you can just repeat the revisions with those portions again. So, I will be uploading more such tricks and questions uh, and also tomorrow we will have a Sunday special ex exclusive. Uh, with our guest and uh, hope you all are finding it really motivating our Sunday session and also we have posted a video by a uh, former student who is doing MBBS uh, with the first year MBBS books. So, I am sure you all will be interested in knowing what books you are going to learn once you enter your dream college. So, you can uh, watch those videos uh, all of these uh, can be uh, uh, it, they are available in our channel chemistry made simple for meat and do like share and subscribe to our channel and uh, as I always say I am really happy to see daily students are subscribing to our channel and uh, thank you all for your support and uh, I hope you will be able to perform well for your exam. So, until I come up with uh, our next video thanks for watching.